You know what the fuck going on, man. It's Big Homie Mac, man. Big Dive Business, bitch. And we in here with 317 A&R turning locals into stars, bitch. We're gonna get into the album a little bit more. This is a little middle segment. It's called, like, Lyrical Breakdown. So I'm gonna give you some of the shit that, that you said on the, on the tape from, like, one or two things from each song. And then you gotta, like, explain it. Or I'm gonna ask you a question about it. Alright, All right, bet. So starting off with changing, you said how we beef and we on the same team. I'm thinking about my cousins, I'm wishing that we could change things. So like, can you expand on that? Like, has that happened to you? Like you felt like somebody you was close to, y'all got into it? Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. A lot of motherfuckers I was close to growing up and shit. I, went on, I don't fuck with them no more, you know what I'm saying, for this or that reason. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I, I, I've been the same nigga, bro, my whole life. You know what I'm saying? I got a little more mature, I got a little older, but. Mm -hmm. Shit, I'm the same, bro, from a kid, you know what I'm saying? Laid back, chilling, I mind my business. And a lot of niggas just changed over the years, you know what I'm saying? Became snakes, start telling on motherfuckers, that type of shit, you feel me? Or even just start hanging with the wrong people that I don't fuck with, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So it's a lot of different variables that play into that shit. Nah, for sure. So shit, like, as far as changing it, what you think you could do about it? You think it's a rap? Like, you just got to distance yourself, or? I ain't gonna lie, man. I was raised, goddammit, if you try, but if, goddammit, if motherfuckers don't act like they want to, men that, that broken way, then fuck them. Facts. And then what, what you think caused the motherfucker to change? Was it money? Was it, you know what I'm saying? Nah, man, a lot of niggas just got around different people and started acting differently. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of shit that played into it, bro. Some niggas, bro, just, like, you know what I'm saying? Let's be honest, bro. They was whole-ass niggas growing up. You know, wasn't... And, I like, bro, you can you can be from the suburbs and not be a whole-ass nigga. You feel me? For sure, for sure. And so, where you from ain't got nothing to do with how tough you is. But I know niggas, bro, that was getting smacked and all kind of shit. Now, they want to be the toughest niggas in the world. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. You think, like, success changes niggas? Like, when they feel like they damn near outgrew certain people or, like, they doing their thing, it's like they don't, they don't want to be that person to reach their arm down and pull you up or, like, they feel like they don't got time for certain people. I feel like it's a two-way street. I feel like it could either change you or change the people around you. Mm -hmm. And in a lot of cases, it do change the person who get it, but... I feel like it also changes the people around you because once you get more, motherfuckers start feeling obligated to ask for more. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers feel like just because they grew up with you or hung with you, that they deserve some part, some piece or some part of that. You know what I'm saying? I'd, tell, I'd be the first to tell a motherfucker, bro, you ain't obligated to do shit for nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I go up, of course, I'm going to look out for my niggas and put them on, you know what I'm saying, and make sure they straight. But you feel me? I ain't obligated to do nothing for nobody. For sure. So next song is Time Gonna Come. You said, remember telling Auntie I'm thugging. Probably first time she hit me. Hardest thing I had to learn, niggas weren't really with me. Is that coming from a real place or is that kind of just written? Nah, that's coming from, from my heart. You know what I'm saying? I remember I was like 15 when I told my auntie I was thugging. That's what you was living with at the time? Yeah, she smacked the shit out of me. Damn. So how you, like what? So how you react to that? Like, did you kind of try to straighten up, or it was like that's the path I'm taking? This I way? ain't gonna lie, bro. Whoopers and shit never made me like oh God. getting hit and shit. They ain't never really do nothing but piss me off. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So and then the second part of that, you know what I'm saying? Learning niggas wasn't really with me. That's that ain't. I feel like that can apply to anybody in any stretch of life. You know what I'm saying? Like. I just learned along the way, bro. A lot of niggas wasn't down for the cause, like they said. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. a lot of motherfuckers, bro, jump ship. You know what I'm saying? When minor situations happen, so I knew if something big happened, that they wasn't gonna stay around. You feel me? So, oh, for sure, for sure. So enemies next. You said we know who really take your deals. We know that you really a rat. So what you say you can't take back. In the interrogation room, you stay fast, but bitch won't play that. My name, why would you say that? Can you speak on that? You ever been writing on? Yeah, he, he know who he is. Somebody just went on a high speed through this motherfucker. This was all black cars. Them, them, they're all black. Like, 
unmarked, all black. Bro, somebody just a caravan. Yes, I've been told on. On some serious, like, could have been the end of everything. And the information that the motherfucker gave was false. Mm. You know what I'm saying? At that. But my thing about that, I, I can't really go too deep into it, bro. But these niggas be hoes, bro. Like, mm -hmm. This, this, the, just to that, bro. Like, niggas be cunning all this gangster shit. You feel me? And then they think you did something that you ain't do. And instead of, you feel me, handling how they supposed to handle it, you feel me, they go talking to the police about the shit. So it wasn't yeah. even like the person was involved with you? Hell no. Nah. Damn. So it was just a, a dude who wanted to talk? You feel me? He ain't, bro. The nigga ain't have nothing to do with the situation whatsoever, you know what I'm saying? He just mm. went around his mouth. So can you speak on, like, like why in our culture, like, when it comes to that, when you when you hop off the porch and you finally in, that, in those situations, like... Why it's looked at as bad to talk? Bro, because, I mean, like, if you really going to be out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, really out there, you feel me? Like, it ain't no, feel me? It's, it's rules and regulations to this shit just like anything else, you feel me? Like, and talking to the police, is, that's against the rules. That's the number one thing, you feel me, you do not do. Mm-hmm. That shit's in the way. For sure. Like, basically, if you want to be a civilian, be a civilian. If yeah, you, you feel not, like go to school and yeah. get you a good job, all right. that good shit. Feel me? Nah, for real. All right, so the next track is Enemies. Nah, 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 nah. Next track is Stay Focused. Mm hmm Personal favorite. Unhealthy coping. I'm feeling like where the drugs at. I just want to squash the beef. Nah, nigga, fuck that. Speak really stepping. See who with you when shit get really hectic. Uh, <laughs> really? Like, shit. I'm I ain't gonna lie. Like, I was when, gonna say. When my cousin died, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I started popping perks and sipping lean, bro, heavily, bro. Like, more than ever in my life. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, that's why I said that was, that was true, bro. I had unhealthy coping mechanisms. You feel me? I was drugged up all the time, bro. Yeah. Like, Wake up, nigga, I'm sitting lean, popping perks, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I know motherfuckers judgmental about perks and all that shit, but fuck. You know what nah, I'm for sure. Everybody got their own way of coping with shit. Like, would you, like, what, what do you have to say to people that's going through some shit right now, like, about self medicating? How else could you cope with, you know what I'm saying, death and tragedy? Uh, truthfully, bro, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't have a clue. Because mm -hmm. I still ain't truly dealt with a lot of shit that I went through, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't remember, some song, don't quote me, but the nigga said, still dealing with issues from my past problems, you feel me? Like, mm. I, it's a lot of shit, bro, that I ain't truly coped from, and that I ain't truly dealt with. I just, you feel me, brush shit off and move on, which, that's a blessing and a curse, because sometimes that shit come back to bite you later on. Nah, for sure. It's a lot of that on the album, though, like, a lot of you talk a lot of the shit you talk about is real. It's a lot of uh, betrayal on there, and it's a lot of death on there. Like, can you speak on like um? Cause you in the song before I ain't mentioned it. You also spoke about D three. Mm -hmm. Like, can you speak on like how that affected you and shit? I ain't gonna lie, but that was my little cousin. You know what I'm saying? And it was like from us, bro. Damn near forcing him to come outside and play football with us. Mm. To him becoming, you know what I'm saying, one of the top safeties in the city, you know what I'm saying, in the state, you feel me? And then right. some shit like that happening, it's like, I, you don't even know how to deal with something like that, bro, because it's like, you feel me? Like, you would never think, you know what I'm saying, some shit like that could happen to somebody like that. Yeah. You feel me? Because they not even really involved in the streets or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? So. Nah, for sure. All right, so we got feelings. He said, wish your Auntie Mika ain't have to see you laid out. Kind of wishing I could rewind time and change routes. But then again, I'll probably just take the same route. So if you had to go back, what would you do differently? Or you think it, that's that's the way you had to go to be the person you is today? I mean, you know, we all say that we would have done shit differently if we had a second chance. Yeah. But me knowing me, you know what I'm saying, the type of person I am, I, I just kept it real, bro, and said I probably would have did the same shit all over again. Yeah, nah, that's real, though. That's real. I mean, hindsight always twenty twenty. 
You mm -hmm. feel me? But at the end of the day, some people feel like this is the way it's going to go. Like, it's the way it has to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, there really is no separate ways. I mean, bro, like, I don't have no, no real regrets in my life. You know what I'm saying? I got a few things that I wish I could have changed. You know what I'm saying? But... As far as me regretting anything that I done did, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. For sure. That's 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 being being a grown man though. You feel me? You make your decisions and as you stand far as on what happened. That specific situation that I was talking about though, I was talking about my cousin Scoop. Young Scoop Guala, uh you know what I'm saying? You I you I would have never thought that his mama was gonna have to see him, you feel me, stretched out on the table, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. that's why. I just wish, you feel me, truthfully, I could have been there, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I ain't saying I could have changed the outcome, but I would have, mm. you feel me? No, I feel you. Uh, chances, bro. You said chances. Big brother, I caught that hit him with that enhancement. Can you speak on that? Like, Ah, uh, yeah. And uh, just speak on taking chances in general. Like, do you feel chances make champions? You chances gotta... make champions, bro. My nigga Mac used to say that shit all the time. You feel me? RP with Mac. Uh, shit. You feel me? My nigga Rick got fucked up. You know what I'm saying? He serving life sentences. Mm -hmm. Multiple. You feel me? So. The shit that, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers do in the streets, bro, that shit come with big chances, you feel me? Like, that's what I be trying to explain to niggas, bro, that's not, you know what I'm saying? If you're not really cut out for that, which I don't really feel like no nigga is cut out for a life sentence, you feel me? But mm, good point. if I don't really feel like no nigga, just truthfully, bro, like, I ain't going to tell nobody if I, if I, if they do come with it. But I don't feel like no nigga, bro, is ready to hear, you feel me, that you about to get a life sentence, you no. feel me? Yeah. So no human have to do that. that you about you know to, especially, saying? you know what I'm saying, over some drugs, bro, you feel me? And you give a motherfucker the rest of their life in a, in a cell, you know what I'm saying? Cage like a fucking animal for some drugs, you know mm. what I'm saying? That's preposterous. Yeah, that's crazy. He, and then you also said, Mizzy said, you get money, they gonna hate you. Guala said, fuck the buzz up, get that paper. So do you feel like that money shit is a double-edged sword. Like, you know, don't nobody want to be broke, but at the same time, as soon as you start having some success, it come with hate. Yeah, bro, because you know what I'm saying? Growing up, motherfucker always told us if you flash money or motherfucker know you get money, niggas is not going to like you. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? My cousin always told us, like, shit, man, fuck that. You feel me? Let's get this money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. But why you think it's like that? Like, Shit, honestly, bro, because it's a lot of niggas that's not, they lazy, bro. They not no real hustler, you mm -hmm. feel me? Like, a lot of niggas, bro, need to go get jobs, bro. Just to keep it real, bro, you niggas is not <laughs> doing go what y'all supposed job. to do, bro. Go get you a job, bro. Like, this motherfucker's out here paying 17 18 19 $20 an hour, you feel me? Go get your ass a job, bro. You out here, you feel me, bullshitting and playing around in the way. Hey, you ain't lying. I just don't get it, though, because I'm like, if I see somebody being successful, bro, right on, bro. You doing your thing, the thing you being a bad, bro. The thing about people like us, bro, like, I see somebody who got more than me, I'm trying to figure out how they got it. Facts. You feel me? Especially I'm trying to figure you, out how I can get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas see you with more than them, and they trying to take it from you. When they can go get it themselves. Yeah. You niggas feel to take rather than build with the person like you they can do stupid, that. bro like you they don't know nigga you can ask this nigga how he got it and he can put you on game and put you in a position to have more than him mm -hmm. but you want to take that from him and fuck it off and then now you back broke and stuck now you gotta take something from somebody else and you know you risking your life every time you do that shit you run into the wrong motherfucker boy you're gonna be cooked for sure for sure um Lost myself. Last track, you said, thinking about life and my fucked up decisions. Lord, I know I ain't right, and Lord, I know I've been tripping. So, is that something you really do? Like, every once in a while, you find yourself having a conversation with the higher power, like, on some, like, I know I ain't living right. Bro, I reflect on a lot of decisions that I made in life a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like, I catch myself, especially in my downtime when I'm alone, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, even when I'm writing music and shit, like, I catch myself thinking about uh, certain stuff that I could have done differently and 
different ways that I could have went about situations, you know what I'm saying? But it's all a part of life and it's a learning process as you go, so. Facts, facts. Everybody got mistakes that they got to live with. Yeah, I feel like if you don't reflect you ain't gonna get better. If you don't reflect on the things that you've done wrong, you can never get better. You know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. can never do better than where you at. Facts. Cause you gotta find out what you're doing wrong to do right. Facts. Yeah. And you play football, you already know. Like, shit, if we don't watch film. Ah, right, yeah, proper preparation. You know what I'm saying? You gotta reflect. Trapping, you work too hard.